Hey guys, we're back with a long-awaited pocket chip video. Now as you can see on the screen, the underrun has occurred. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a game called Maelstrom. Now, this game is actually playable on the pocket chip um, with a little bit of tweaking and I'm still working through various games in order to get them working. So basically to get to the game on here, if I can get myself all comfy up here so I can type, you type in sudo apt get if I can spell today install like so and then it's spelled like this M E A M A E L sorry S T R O M and uh, that will basically install the game now once you've installed the game you simply want to type in Maelstrom Obviously you can get a icon in place for this and then it boots up like so and you can see that the screen is actually too big. There is a little trick to this and you can do this with most games although some obviously uh, will still be unplayable is you wait for the game to boot up so we can actually see the screen. We hold, we hold down the alt button which is down here on the pocket chip and we just simply drag the screen over until we can view most of it. Um, this game you can actually play, like I say, um, if you move the screen around. Sometimes it's a little bit funny, and if you if you push it again, you see it will go back to like a, a default place or whatever you've pressed. So the idea is to grab it at a point and drag it down. Let go of the alt. Hold the alt again. Uh, it's picky. Because as soon as you push back up on here, as soon as you, uh, there we go. Now we can get Maelstrom actually in the spot like so. And you can see that we can configure the game uh, and we can play the game. Uh, playing the game actually, you press P. And there we are, we have our little nice little ship here. Uh, we can move around with the arrow buttons. Now one thing I would say is do configure the controls before you do this. The ship is actually like kind of 3D as well and so are the asteroids and you can see that you can sort of run around the screen like so uh, I've set the fire button to uh, I think is it the control button on the right hand side of the pocket chip so if I if I now press the control button if it's saved if it hasn't then it's the alt button on the other side which it hasn't saved so that's a bit of a bore um, and space you can basically do that but you can hold the pocket chip however you like uh, like I say, play around with those buttons, and the idea is it's basically a 3D almost asteroid game. It is quite uh, tough to control with the pocket chips control, as you can tell. I'm moving the pocket chip everywhere but in front of the camera, <sighs> and you can tell that I haven't actually been using the pocket chip very often um, simply because I have been rather busy at work doing stuff. But you, you get the the gist of it. It does kind of work and it is sort of playable. Um, obviously, there are some issues here. Uh, potentially, we could change that. But you can see the ship rolling around here and then to slow down. It's hard to do this actually because I can't see the controls. Boom. So yeah, this is another game that, that sort of does work on the pocket chip, and if you want to play it, then go download it. If you want to configure the controls, I would suggest putting the fire button on the right control of the pocket chip to make it a lot easier to maneuver um, as well as play the game. But yeah, it's it's it works pretty damn well, and it looks cool because it's sort of 3D. So if you like this video guys, hit the like button, if you didn't hit the dislike button, I am working my way through a list of games and I am struggling to get content out to you guys, I understand that and hopefully you understand why, um, until next time, cheers.